Hi guys, welcome to SchoolTube. My name is Lucas Masilela, and today's lesson we'll be looking at sequences and series. The linear outcomes understand and solve geometric sequence. So, let us go for it. What is the general term? The general term is Tn is equals to A multiplied by R exponent N minus 1, where A is the first term, R is the constant ratio, N is the number of the term. The general term is Tn is equals to A multiplied by R exponent N minus 1. So, let us consider a geometric sequence 2, 6, 18, 54, and you can go up to a certain number. R is the constant ratio, remember? R is term 3 over term 2. R can also be term 2 over term 1, or it can also be term 4 over term 3. R is equals to 18 over 6, where 18 is term 3 and 6 is term 2. It can also be equals to 6 over 2, where 6 is the second term and 2 is the first term. 18 over 6 or 6 over 2, they give you the value of 3. R is 3. The constant ratio is 3. Now, let us go find the nth term. Tn is equal to the a multiplied by r exponent n minus 1. Therefore, Tn is equal to 2, which is the first term, multiplied by r, which is the constant ratio, exponent n minus 1. Uh, for the sake of making the formula for nth term not to look clumsy, just put the 3 inside the brackets. So, let us consider now a sequence 3, 15, 75. They say, let us find the 10th term. Let us find term number 10. Now, let us go look for the constant ratio. We find that the constant ratio is 5, meaning 3 times 5 is 15, 15 times 5 is 75. Or you can say that 15 over 3 is 5, 75 over 15 is 5. We used our known form of T2 over T1 is equals to T3 over T2. Uh, 5 is the constant ratio. So, we know that Tn is equal to A multiplied by R exponent N minus 1, where A is 3 and R is 5. Therefore, T10 is equal to 3 multiplied by 5 exponent 10 minus 1. Remember 10, the nth term, the number of the term. Now, term number 10 is equal to 3 multiplied by 5 exponent 9. Term number 5 is 5 million 850 9,375. That's term number 10. Now, let us look at something else. Let us determine n. Given a sequence 1, 5, 25, some terms up to term 625. How many terms are in the geometric sequence? They are looking for n. We're going to write down what we have first. 
Remember our sequence is 1, 5, 25, sometimes up to term 6, 25. A is 1. Remember that A is the first term in the sequence. R is the constant ratio. 1 multiplied by 5 is 5. 5 multiplied by 5 is 25. So, you can also say 5 divided by 1 is 5. 25 divided by 5 is 5. We are using our knowledge of T2 over T1 is equal to T3 over T2. The constant ratio is 5. But what is N? Remember, our nth term, the formula of our nth term is Tn is equal to A multiplied by R exponent N minus 1. Now, 625 is the last term and Tn, the nth term, is 625. Now, we are having A, which is the first term. We are having 625, which is Tn. We are having R, which is 5. 625, which is Tn, is equal to A, which is 1, multiplied by 5, which is R, exponent n minus 1. We are looking for n. Now, 625 is equals to 5 exponent n minus 1. Since anything multiplied by 1 is that thing. So 5 exponent n minus 1 multiplied by 1 is 5 exponent n minus 1. Now, we can work around and find 625 in base 5, considering the fact that when the bases are the same, we equate the exponents. Therefore, if the base is the same, we say 4 is equal to n minus 1. Therefore, 5 will be equal to n, or you can say n is equal to 5. So, there are 5 terms in this sequence. The question was, how many terms are in this geometric sequence? Now, let us go look for the geometric mean. The geometric mean of A and C, remember that the mean is an average. The geometric mean of A and C is the square root of A, C. The square root of A multiplied by C. Consider now a geometric sequence 12, X, and 3. Let us find the geometric mean. The geometric mean is the square root of 12 multiplied by 3. 12 multiplied by 3 is 36. Therefore, the square root of 36 is plus minus the value of 6. Now, we'll be having a geometric mean of 6. Our sequence will now be 12, 6, and 3. But also, 6 can also form a geometric sequence of 12, x and 3 with a opposite sign of the constant ratio of cos. Ladies and gentlemen, we were looking at sequences and series. Hope you have understood how to find the nth term. Hope you understood how to find the number of terms. Hope you understood how to find the constant ratio and what is the first term. For now, sequences and series. Until then, Bye.